Hey guys, so welcome to a brand new subscriber mail and subscriber mail reviews. Don't worry, I will explain everything. So let's get into it. Okay, so what I mean by subscriber mail and subscriber mail review is that basically during my break, I got sent some amazing subscriber mail by Jamie Powell. If you haven't checked out his channel, I suggest you do so. He is a hilarious YouTuber. I love watching his movie reviews and Crazy Jay is the absolute best. And yes, yeah, so I'll put a link in the description down below for you to go and check out his channel. Thanks again, Jamie, for sending me this. Um, so a little hint, it's Scooby-Doo themed. <laughs> um, and it's the brand new 2022 movie, Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo. So he did send this to me whilst I was on my break. So I did open this up, pre-opened it, and I have already watched it, but this was when it got delivered. So this was like two weeks ago, something like that, two, two and a half weeks ago. Um, so I wanted to re-watch it and give you guys a proper review for it. So hence why I'm watching it again today, just so I can get my thoughts around it and sort of like remember what happened and stuff like that. Um, but before I get into actually watching the film, I thought I'd read the notes that he sent me. Well, hello there, Meg's Movies. Right then. I'm not very good at impressions, apologies. <laughs> get some Scooby snacks and settle down on the sofa with a box of popcorn and hopefully enjoy some new Scooby action. Thanks for being great. Thanks for being a great friend. <laughs> Hope to meet soon. Take care from Jamie Powell. So yes, I'm now going to give this a rewatch because I want to give you guys a full review. So this will be fresh in my mind, not two weeks ago and trying to remember most of the plot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm now going to watch it and I'll see you guys for my review. See you in a bit. Okay, so I have just finished rewatching Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo. So with my reviews, I do like to give a little plot summary before I get into my thoughts. Because just in case you're wondering what the film's about, or if you want to get an idea of what it is. So at the beginning of this movie, we are at the end of a mystery. And basically the gang have been collecting fibres and materials from off the costumes of the criminals they've caught. Turns out all of these costumes have been created by the one and only Coco Diablo. So of course they go and find Coco Diablo and catch him. Simple as that, right? you'd think it'd be all over. No. Basically, by capturing Coco Diablo, they have then made it so that their mysteries are lame and boring. It's no longer the action-packedness of the other mysteries. So we get a time lapse of one year where it's just these lame mysteries of missing socks, cats in trees, things like that. Fred then decides that he feels like it's just pointless now. He misses the action. He misses the traps. He misses the monsters. So then, of course, he goes to a wishing well <laughs> to make a wish. And what ends up happening is they end up getting a new mystery. So they end up going to Coco Diablo to see if she's behind it. Mm -mm. So they enlist the help of Coco Diablo to try and find out who is causing new mystery. So I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't want to say any more than that. And yeah, so my thoughts, actually pretty decent. For me, the classics will always be sort of like Zombie Island, Alien Invaders, Meet the Brew Brothers, because they're the ones I grew up on. So trying to watch more of these more modern ones have been quite difficult for me because it's just sort of like I like the nostalgic feel of the others. And to be honest with this one, there is actually quite a lot of nostalgic feels. There's clips from the old show, there's characters from old shows that they mention, you know. So it is a nostalgic trip. So if you are someone that's like me who loves the classic Scooby-Doo or who grew up with it and loves the nostalgic of it all, this is definitely one I recommend you watch. And not just because of that, it is actually a pretty fun movie. I enjoyed this one. I like the fact it's set at Halloween and I like the fact it's about, it's basically what would happen if the gang did catch either all the villains or catch, for example, Coco Diablo, who then ends up making it so that it's boring mysteries, you know. 
And I thought that was quite fun because you've never really had that. You've never really had them look at the side of, well, hold on a sec, what if there was a big mastermind behind it all? And if they put them away, what will happen to the mysteries? You know, so stuff like that. And I thought that was quite a fun and different look into it. I will say my only two nitpicks I have with this movie is one, the animation, because the animation looks a little bit odd. Like I get they modernised it and stuff like that. But for me, I think I missed the classicness of the other ones. Um, but yeah, the animation's a bit hit or miss to me. And also, I feel a bit bad for Daphne in this one. I don't know why, but they nitpicked Daphne a little bit in this. I won't say what it is because you'll see for yourselves if you watch it. Um, but I felt like they kind of pushed Daphne aside a little bit and changed her, which I don't really like that because I like the fact that Daphne was empowering and stuff like that. So yeah, they're my only two nitpicks of the movie. Aside from that, I really enjoyed it. I like Coco Diablo. She was a fun villain. There's also a little modern twist in this, um, which I am not going to say what it is because I feel like, like I said, I don't want to spoil too much for anybody. Um, but I like the fact that they did try to modernise it, um, especially with these two characters, because I feel like some... Because I feel like sometimes um, animation, certainly for kids' films, are a little bit lacking in the times. Um, I know they're starting to grow up with it, but at the same time, we've been like this for a while, so we don't understand why it's took so long. Um, but yeah, overall, this was actually an enjoyable film. I laughed, I enjoyed the characters, they were fun. It was nice to see some nostalgic things as well because I'm one that leans into nostalgic feels quite a lot. And yeah, this is one I definitely recommend people to watch, even if you just watch it the once, because it is a fun little movie. And this is one of the first modern ones of like the most recent years that I've actually truly enjoyed, pretty much close to the classics from the ones that I've enjoyed in the past. Um... But no, so on my letterbox, I gave this a 3.5 out of 5. So obviously very much enjoyed. <laughs> and yeah, this is one I definitely recommend you at least watch once. Because like I said, it is a fun field movie. And also one to watch at Halloween because I'll see Trick or Treat. It's set at Halloween. Perfect film for this kind of ho for this kind for this kind of holiday. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this review of Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo. Apologies that it is all over the place. Like I said in my previous video, um, Monday's video, I will be going back into this very slowly. Um, obviously, it will be all over the place until I can get back into a rhythm. I mean, this has already took me a few tries to start this review. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below to be notified when I post. And also leave me your comments and thoughts on Trick or Treat Scooby-Doo. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Did you see the little things that I saw? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time.